Dr. Sibram of InnoIndices.com. Hope you're able to hear me. Okay. Fine. Let me display the PowerPoint presentation. Asian session live market analysis on July 4th between 5 and 5.30 GMT. So we will be tracking the market using the live market code page. So I will give the link for the same. You can open the link in a browser and see the live market code page. I also fixed the camera over that of the live market code page. You should be able to see the current market levels. You know, it's trading around 1.4553, 1.4555. The low was 1.4514. The high was 1.4577. They made a very quick spread of about 60 to 65 pips. And 27 pips positive net change is seen in the case of Euro. And in the case of GBP, it is trading around 1.6085, 1.6089. 1.6060 is the low, 1.6089 is the high, 13 pips positive net change is seen. And in the case of EN, 8072, 8075 are the current levels. 8071 is the low, 8092 is the high, and about 8 pips negative net change is seen. Similarly, in the case of CHF, about 4 pips negative net change is seen. So in the case of majors, you come across the nominal positive and the negative net changes indicating the USD weakening move for the start of the day. Then in the case of Canadian dollar, 0 0.9587, 0 0.9591 are the current levels. 0 0.9582 is the low, 0 0.9600 is the high. Three pips positive net changes seen. And in the case of Australian dollar, 1.0737, 1.0740 are the current levels. 1.0724 is the low, 1.0787 is the high. 31 pip negative net change is seen. As far as the commodity pairs are concerned, they are showing USD gaining move. So the majors are showing USD weakening move. The commodities are showing USD gaining move, indicating that they are contrarian moves in order to handle the cross. And today is a holiday in US because of July 4th, the Independence Day. So obviously the market will anticipate a thin volume condition and that may reflect or that may be induced right from that of the Japanese session. So we may come across subdued moves during the day, during that of the Japanese, European and US sessions. So there could be the continuation of the big beginning false move till tomorrow. Then afterwards, from Wednesday onwards, the market is expected to show US decaying move. So let us de see the details afterwards. So. Here you come across the contrarian move, the majors are showing the USD weakening move and the commodity pairs are showing the USD gaining move. With regard to the crosses, when they are handling the crosses, let us review the class, crosses. Euro GBP is holding around 9045, 9048, 9035 is the low, 9066 is the high, about 12 pip positive net change is seen. And Euro CHF, because they show a gain of 27 pips in the case of euro and CHF is showing only a nominal 4 pips negative net change because of that euro CHF has also gained about 15 pips currently trading around 1.2331, 1.2334. So here you come across from that of 1.18 they had just gained the levels in the case of euro CHF and in the case of uh, CHF also from that of 0 0.8 or 8290 level, they are just gained to 8473. So slowly they are just gaining the levels in the case of the denominator currencies. Now it is a turn of USD CAD. They are making this quick downward move in the case of USD CAD from 0 0.98 to 0 0.95 area and they are expected to come back to 98 uh, and above in this particular week. Similarly, in the case of Australian dollar, they gained very quickly the level from that of 1.06 to 1.07 on Friday and they are expected to drop Australian dollar here. This is an upward stop in the case of Australian dollar and the downward stop in the case of Canadian dollar for the week beginning weekend and the new week beginning and subsequently they are expected to make the USD gaining move in them and also the 
measures are expected to follow the USD week and USD gaining move from this particular week onwards. After the week beginning falls move for two days because it's a holiday in US, then from Wednesday onwards the market is expected to show the USD gaining move and this week onwards we normally expect the trending move. So after that volatile trend reversal moves, they are expected to show the trending move and this time in the month of July, the trending move is expected to be USD gaining move. Then with regard to the N crosses, you find that N is showing a negative net change of 9 pips because of that, you find a 9 pip positive net change in the case of Euro N, 117.48, 117.52 are the current levels. 117.41 is the low, 117.73 is the high. You can see such a narrow spread because the N is showing a very narrow spread and gradually it is expected to gain and once it goes above 0 0.83 level, you will come across the substantial gain in the case of N. Till this time, they will be making only a few pips in 80 area up and down and try to just test the patience of the traders as they have done it in the case of CHF and now they have started doing it in the case of Canadian dollar but Canadian dollar they don't sustain near the low for a long time and they are expected to recover it very fast today onwards. Then GBBN is showing about 3 pips negative net change it is having a low of 129.75, 129.93 low and the high such an arrow spread you would not have seen any of the occasions so the market is under the consolidation, slowly they are making the dip in the case of Euro and also GBP they are holding it and they breached the high, initial high and they are holding it, we will see that. So gradually they wanted to drop Euro GBP. After handling the crosses you will come across that they come back to that of the majors. Let me focus the camera over that of the PowerPoint presentation. The expected market moves for Today, that is 4th of July, Japanese session volatile move, initial volatile move, they have done it near that of the high and then slide is expected, slow slide is has commenced and they are expected to continue this. And also in the case of Australian dollar, you found that they formed a very quick, uh, they quickly gained the levels and formed a new high and then subsequently they dropped quickly as an upward stop and, and dropping below and they are expected to continue the drop in the case of Australian dollar and Euro and GBP are expected to follow. But GBP may follow it later, thereby Euro GBP can drop fast. Then Euro, during the European session, uh, initial firming up move could be seen and then a slow slide could be seen. And also in the case of uh, US session, even though it is a holiday, swing and slide moves are expected. So weak beginning false move of a rise may be seen till tomorrow and they might be holding the high till tomorrow and slowly making the drop creating uncertainty whether to buy after a small drop and things like that, that sort of uncertainty they are expected to create and from Wednesday onwards you will come across the visible trending moves in Euro and GBP as the USD gaining move or just as a slide in the case of Euro and GBP and it may look or it may appear that they might go up further up in a very big way but the players are building the sell positions after gaining the levels. We know very well they drop the market and buy, they gain the market and build sell positions. So what they are doing it currently is gaining the levels and holding high and building sell positions. Now with regard to the initial lows and the highs, zero formed the low of 1.4514, 1.4577 is the high and they are not breached the high at the low. And in the case of GBP, 1.6060, 1.6078 are the lows and the highs, but the high they have breached it and formed the 6089. So indicating that they want to do hold the GBP and slowly drop before dropping euro. So that is why you find that Euro is dropping fast when compared to that of GBP. And so this way they will be able to drop Euro GBP. 
Then in the case of USD CHF, it is the lowest 8464 that is not been breached, 8497 is also not breached. And similarly in the case of USDN, 8071 and 8092 are the lows and the highs, they are not breached. And Australian dollar 1.0724 is the low 1.0787 is the high. The high is also not breached, indicating that they wanted to drop. They have not made any upward stop in, in these currencies, excepting GBP. Then in the case of Canadian dollar, 95.82 is the low, 96.00 is the high. They are also not breached. So excepting GBP. None of the currencies show the breaching of the high or the low, indicating the small swings are happening in the market, even though they made a wide spread in the case of Euro and also in the case of Australian dollar. But as such, you find they are simply holding the market and slowly they are expected to slide uh, during to a close of Japanese session and European session a small pullback and then slide to continue and the US session they could swing and slide and tomorrow again uh, they are expected to make an upward gap opening and slowly slide the market from there onwards building their sell positions and inducing the traders to take long positions. So initially they have to induce the traders to take the higher level long positions only then when they drop they will be able to book profit. Till last Friday, we have seen that they induced the short sellers to do the short covering. Now this week, they are expected to trap the long holders. So those who have just closed the short or covered the short with a loss and turned long, they are expected to make the slide and induce them to liquidate the long positions. So players are known to alternatively trap the traders and this week you come across the BOE and the ECB interest rate announcements and also the non-form payroll a data release and so predominant of the traders might keep aside from the other market uh, wanting to know what could be the trend in the market then later on they wanted to commit the positions but the market might say that already the interest rate hike in ECB is being built into the price so now it is a question of risk aversion or it is a question of years the gaining move they may give any of any of these two interpretation finally they are expected to make the slide in the case of euro and GDP. so you might be wondering uh, why this man is very very insisting upon the drop and things like that it is not that i am against euro or gbp and this is the time for it to drop so it is advisable to do the sell and buy trade when they are holding near that at the high and making an upward stop and, and also dropping it and making a downward stop and they are done the either way swings and either way moves and either way stop and upward stop and as well as downward stop and, and this will lead to that of their quick drop in that of the market and from the middle level they are expected to drop it to the lower level and make the lower level consolidation with a downward stop. And so I do not want the traders to get trapped uh, with a bullish feel and that is why I am insisting upon it. It's not that I am very rigid or I am just always trying to advise a trade against the market sentiment. It's not like that. Please don't mistake me that I am envisaging a very big drop in the case of Euro and GPP. I'm just cautioning the traders not to do buy and sell trade uh, unless and otherwise they use a disciplined way of using the stop to limit the risk. And predominant of the traders have got a tendency to trade without a stop. So it is not advisable to do buy and sell trade without a stop at the current scenario. So let me minimize the PowerPoint presentation and take up the questions which are asked. Meanwhile, I'll focus the camera over that of the Live market code page. Then Jack has got a question. Do you still expect USD gaining move today? Can USD CAD move to as parity? Yeah, USD CAD is expected to move to a parity or slightly above, and also Australian dollar is expected to come down below that of parity in this particular month. This is what my calculation says, but still. Uh, 
they have to drop about uh, they have to rise about 400 to 450 pips in the case of Canadian dollar and about 700 pips and more in the case of Australian dollar so volume might act as a constraint we have to still see but theoretically it has been estimated that they are expected to go above parity in the case of Canadian dollar and below parity in the case of Australian dollar and I may be wrong also in my estimate so don't blindly follow it and use all the trading strategy to limit the risk if you are going for a sell and buy trade then bill for the weak beginning false move euro and JBP are keep rising yeah weak beginning false move they gain the levels in the case of euro and also in the case of GBP, but nominal gain indicating that not much of the shots are there in the market uh, for to do the short covering what they have done it any left out shots on Friday towards close they simply made an upward stop and then hit it afterwards they are not revisited that particular area and they are now come closer to that of the low and holding it and this way no, they will induce the traders to take the long positions here. Now it is very risky to sell also. Anybody knows, but near the high we can sell, but near the low selling it's risky. But once it breaches the low and stay below that of the low, as a technical trade in a new session we can do a sell and buy trade. But otherwise, selling near that of the low is a very risky trade. So obviously the players will keep here and the traders will develop the tendency to buy near that of the low, thinking that it is a support and the players are known to breach the support and the resistance alternatively to trap the traders and weak beginning false move they are expected to make a higher level swing for two days because it is a holiday in US July 4th so volume might get reduced but still the players will try to trap as much of traders as possible or induce them to commit the positions for the new week Eric, how much drop do you expect for this week with Australian dollar? Now, as a weak leap potency, it can drop about 300 pips. But in the case of Euro, about 350 pips. But they have taken a long time to gain the levels and they are known to uh, lose the levels in a very shorter time frame so they may continue that drop suddenly giving some sort of interpretations and by month end you should be able to see that the scenario is totally changed in the market and we may come across the market showing extreme USD gaining move might be a surprise for many months but that's the way the players operate the market. They create the USD weakening sentiment and later on gain the levels and offload the positions in Euro and GBP. Later on they gain the USD gaining sentiment and try to buy back. So they create the sentiment that act against the traders. So as a potency, weekly potency, it can drop over 300 pips. And during the month, they should be able to make extreme moves. Zara, do you recommend any level for Euro and JBP for this month? Now, I am expecting Euro to go below 1.40 in this month and also GBP below 1.58. But GBP downside will be much limited. Probably in order to create the sentiment, they may just quickly visit lower level but they are expected to make a pullback in the case of GBP but Euro they wanted to drop more because Euro GBP they had just built the sell position gaining all the levels and in order to book profit they have to necessarily drop Euro GBP in a very big way so that they will be able to get the maximum profit out of this it is a question of profit booking gain for the players but we only become bullish and bearish with regard to the currencies and there are no bulls and the bears as two separate groups in the market. The same people act as a bull on certain times and act as a bear on certain other times. Because only when they have the buy position, they will be able to sell. Only when they have the sell position, they can buy against that. That is how they are doing it. But they give a different story to that of the traders to believe. So it is a storytelling game. What else we can do? 
in Francisco. Do you think that ECB interest rate a meeting will be the trigger for e euro to drop? Yes, everybody is expecting the interest rate to go up in the case of uh, uh, ECB, but the markets may simply say that it has been discounted and they may slide more and say that a profit booking move or it can be USD gaining move. They can give any sort of interpretation. Ultimately, they are expected to drop euro and GBP. And you know that when uh, the interest rate is announced with regard to GBP, probably they may drop GBP. In tandem with that of the sentiment, euro can also drop. In a similar way, they can just give different type of interpretation. In tandem with that of the market sentiment, they may simply drop euro also. And you know that uh, on Friday, they made a very big drop in the case of gold and silver as I explained for the month end because traders have become predominantly bullish and uh, every time when there is any negative news in the market, immediately they thought that is a safe and strategy to buy gold and when everybody turned long in gold and silver, you know what has happened. So this is the climax of the market. So when all turn long, then the market cannot go further up because somebody expects others to rise the market so that they can book profit. But that particular somebody is not available because everybody is holding the long positions. So a similar situation you will come across in the case of Euro also. Even though they are just creating such a bullish feel in the case of Euro, and they want to just let loose you know, quickly. Then, George, how much drop do you expect? Your weekly potency is 350 pips, and they can exceed also in the event of liquidity requirement. May. Nowadays, you are you prefer to advise traders using the stop rather than hedging many. No, I request the traders to use both the hedging as well as the stop. Uh, if the hedging facility is not available, I am recommending them to use the stop. If the hedging facility is available, that is the best solution. Because I explained to you how hedging can be effectively used uh, to limit the risk as well as do either way trading. If you are able to understand the either way trading, then it is fine. And if you are not able to understand the hedging facility, it doesn't mean that the hedging facility is useless because many of the people think that when they are not able to understand something, they say it is nonsense. It is something like, uh, I do not know a language, Latin I do not know, so I cannot say that it is not a language. So it is similar to that and some people because of immaturity, they think that uh, the hedging is not a facility or it is not a really a uh, uh, a tool which can be used effectively to control the unlimited loss. But uh, they discourage it because when the traders continue to hedge, the players are not in a position to realize the profit. That is why they influenced all the higher ups and removed hedging in the US platforms. So either you can use hedging if the facility is available, otherwise you can use stock to limit the risk. Because now, last till last week it was volatile move and now onwards you will come across a trending move and those who are trading without a stock also will be able to see the profit if they calmly wait without going for over trading. Then Anita, uh, what is your focus for USDCHF? It is expected to gain the level slowly. And this week, I'm expecting the trending move, and all the currencies are expected to show the USD gaining move. You would be asking on what basis, but I do not know the reason for it, but the market is expected to make such moves. Now, you come across all the currencies are showing negative head change, excepting USD CAD. See, this is how they make the contrarian move, and they breach the low in the case of euro. 45.14 was the low and see how they created a bullish feel and then started making the slide. 
and also in the case of JPB, they made an upward stop and then started making the slide come closer to that of the low. And in the case of yen also, they are coming, they are cut the breach the low by one pip, and so you find the contrarian move. No, they drop euro as well as drop USD yen. So this is the way they make moves, and what you can say whether it is a USD sentiment or a USD weakening or the USD strengthening sentiment, they make such moves here and telling that you no know, for yen it is a safe haven currency and it is a profit booking and in the case of GBB it is something else. So they try to give different sort of interpretations and those interpretations you ask them after about 4-5 hours they would have forgotten. Because they themselves are looking for excuses and give it. Does it work in a cycle that after the drop and the downward stop and they will rise the market? Uh, does it work in a cycle? Uh, Robert, market has got the different levels of cycle. You come across the monthly cycles in the market predominantly and also the weekly cycles. Say, they can rise about 350 pips in the case of Euro. So, suppose first day 150 pips, second day 150 pips. The third day they can gain only about 50 pips in the market. Then the fourth and the fifth day they have to necessarily make sideways move or the drop. So, that is how you come across the cycles are being built up because of the restrictions in the market. Then Tepu, uh, is Euro expected to 1.4620 and 1.4690 on the downside 4.4? Now, I am not here to give both the upside potency as the downward side potency. Because there are other analysts, they are trying to estimate it. I respect their levels and also I respect their analysis. And you can also follow them and as the upward potency and the downward potency. But I am here to give certain other information, which is not a very similar information. I wanted to give a different information to that of the traders. Basically, my idea is to give the trend instead of telling in case if the market goes up this can be the resistance or it can be the support on the downside I wanted to say that the market may go up or come down so there is a difference between the two type of analysis no way to compare them so I am expecting Euro to come down this week a visible trending move is expected to start in this week then Bill what is the maximum we have to see in Euro and GBB? Euro gained about 300 to 400 pips after your forecast. Okay. See, if you think that after my forecast it has gained about 300 to 400 pips, then you are wrong. I said that Euro and GBB are expected to drop and when you say that after coming to 1.41 it has gained to 1.45, then if you think that 1.41 onwards I started telling you a sell, then you are not understood. After a drop, I always say that during the pullback you try to sell. And especially the month end and the new month beginning, there will be a trend reversal move. So it's not ideal for position trade and the market will be making either way big moves. And during such time, you can do only swing trade, either way swing trades. And if you continue to think that way, that uh, against the forecast, the market has gone up by 300 to 400 pips, then you can hold the view. I am not here to stop it. But ultimately, if you are able to develop an unbiased analysis of the market and try to do wise trades, I am very happy about it. It's not that I am trying to say that my forecast is the best and things like that. I just consider it at yet another forecast which has got an element of error like any other type of forecast. But still, I wanted to give uh, a trending or uh, what could be the possible trend in the market. And I focus more on that. And with regard to the levels, I give, do give the levels and I also give the trading strategy in case if the market goes against that of the positions of the traders, I give the trading strategy to come out with net profit so that they need not continue to stop out and say that I have lost all the equity and if anybody loses the equity I am 100% sure that it is not because of the analysis it is because of over trading 
then DTP. USD Singapore dollar. Do you expect USD Singapore dollar to rise more? Yeah, USD Singapore dollar is expected to rise more in this particular month. Yes. Then pepperoni. Is not this the false move for the week? Yeah, false move. They gain the levels, and tomorrow again they may make an upward gap opening and then start making the slide. So the gap opening could be the false move for the week beginning. Then Eric, we just announced that S and P is saying Greece is in a in a selected default. Okay, so see they can give any sort of announcement like that and a timely announcement so that it can act against that of the market sentiment. So they have the mechanisms to uh, release such information from time to time. So that the traders who are simply following the technicals will say that no, fundamentally, euro has to be downgraded. So then immediately when the euro drops, so no technicals, we look into fundamentals. Then afterwards when you are looking into that of the fundamentals, then suddenly euro might rise and people will say that technically because it is oversold condition, so the market has gone up. So it is following technicals. But we won't be knowing at a given time whether it is going to follow the technicals or the fundamentals. So this sort of uncertainty they are just created among that of the traders and they continue to play it very well. And uh, so even though on a daily basis they try to trap the traders and the traders becomes victim again and again rather than focusing on that of the trading strategy they focus only on that of the forecast so at a given time now for example euro is around 1.4519 1.4521 so people wanted to know whether it will go up from here or come down and every time you will come across the uncertainty whether it will go up or come down and this uncertainty they try to continue during different sessions of the day and try to trap the traders. But as a wise trader, then what he will do that they are dropped from 45.77, he use the technical analysis and see whether it is a real support or a Fibonacci research or a pivot point or whatever it is. You try to do it. But after making the small swing, they quickly make about 150, 200 steps drop or the rise. So this is how they make the extended move and trap the traders. So if you identify only that type of moves, you will be able to really understand what they are trying to do in the market and plan your trade accordingly. When the market is in subdued level, there is no point in taking positions. If you take positions, you will be able to give, get only a scalping opportunity, about earn about 5 to 10 pips. So that we need to understand, but there is no point in fully trusting upon the forecast or any technical analysis or fundamental analysis. Market will pretend as if it is following it and suddenly it might reverse. So the only scope with regard to the effective trading is using the trading strategies. And TTPT. Do you expect to drop to 1.03 when euro and GBP drop? That is, I think, uh, yeah, Australian dollar. Yeah, it is expected to drop. Then TTPT. How do you see USD CHF? Do you see the rise? Yeah, it is expected to slowly gain the levels, but uh, the momentum has to gain. Uh, in the case of denominator currency, still the required momentum has not come. What you come across in the case of euro and GBP, that sort of big moves they are not making. So they have to make, see that normal potency in the case of CHF is 200 pips in a given day. And hardly we have seen any day they are making about 200 pips. And similarly in the case of Canadian dollar and also yen. So until such time they come to the top the normal swing mode, any level position, whether you buy or a sell position, it might take a longer time for you to book a nominal profit in the case of denominator currencies. Yeah, we should be able to see 0 0.88 in the case of uh, Swiss franc. Do you see more downward move in the case of 
Now downward move might be limited in the case of CHF. They are done and quickly gain the level indicating that they want to rise more. Then Eurog JBB can drop to 0 0.85. Yeah, it has got a potency to drop about 200 to 300 pips in a single day during the week. Then it could reach about 0 0.86 area. Uh, please comment on Yen. USDN again, no, they are making very subdued moves. When the spread between the low and the high is very subdued, don't take any positions in there. Because ultimately we enter into the market in order to book profit. And if you aim only for 5 pips, 10 pips and things like that, then holding for about 7, 8 hours and 10 hours and just book about 15 pips, it will be really frustrating for a trader. So instead you focus only on Euro and JBB until such time the denominator currencies come to the return normalcy. Because of the subdued moves in the case of denominator currencies, even the crosses of such denominator currencies like Euro and Euro GBP and all, they are also making very subdued moves. So in such a scenario, you try to focus on the majors, especially the numerator majors, Euro GBP and Australian dollar. That's what I can suggest. Then Charan. Only in the middle zone for the majors, if a drop to a lower is expected, then how long will it see consolidation? Normally, you find the monthly market cycles can range from 29 days to 57 days. So, after the drop, a downward stop and, and consolidation there and an extended downward stop and then a big rise. So that is a sequence in we say so plan your trades accordingly that's what I can suggest. So let me focus the camera over that of the PowerPoint presentation. So Japanese session volatile mode that is over and the slide is expected that's what they are doing it now and European session again a firm up and a slide are the expected moves. Swing and slide move is expected during US session even though it is a holiday in US for Independence Day. So big beginning false move may be seen today and tomorrow and from Wednesday you could come across a visib visible drop and Thursday you come across the BOE and the ECB interest rate announcement and also Friday non-form payroll for both the events the market is expected to make USD gaining moves. Okay, with regard to the initial lows and the highs, sorry, uh, Euro then breached the low by 2 pips and GBB they breached the high, uh, 1.6078 was the initial high and they found 1.6089 as the new high and they made a dip from there and CHF they are not breached the higher the low, EN they breached the low by 1 pip, it is in really insignificant and Australian dollar they are not breached they are breached the low in the case of Australian dollar 1.0713 has become the new low currently it is holding near 1.0713 so the commodity pair started leading the run and USD CAD they have come to that of 0 0.96 level about to breach the high so we should be able to see the USD gaining more slowly but still they will try to make swings here to build the sell positions in the case of other majors and later on during the week we could come across the visible USD gaining moves. So I take this opportunity to thank FX Street and also you people who have come here to listen to my webinar and use my forecast as a guiding factor for you. Use your own analysis and try to perceive the market correctly and still use the trading strategies to limit the risk like the stop or the hedging order so that you should be benefited ultimately. See we are all taking the efforts to see that the traders are benefited and try to make use of it. Thank you one and all. See you tomorrow during yet another Asian session live market analysis. Thank you.